And if you are a business owner or a marketing team member, I think you're gonna find this useful. So when I start working with my partners, what I normally do is I take them through an audit and just to understand what they're trying to do online. But what's funny is most businesses and most marketers always start their thinking from the top down. They're thinking of what can I do to get more people to my website? Now there's nothing wrong with trying to get more people to your website, but here is the problem. Getting people to your website is not going to grow your business. Getting people to your website and then having them take action on your website is going to grow your business. And it's on your website that you present people with your offer. So here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Before you, you know, sort of drum up ideas of how do I get more people to my website? What I want you to think about is what on your website are you asking people to do? Can you track that? Can you isolate it? Can you understand if people are actually taking you up on that offer? That's the key to growth hacking because what you do is you're growing from the bottom of the funnel up. You're providing systems of proof, you're creating tracking systems, and then you're segmenting your funnel so that you know who to spend time, money, and energy on. And it's not the people who've never heard about you before. Yes, you need to get people into your funnel, but you need to focus on the people who've already been there first, already clicked on that button, already uh, have shown some intent and some interest. So start your marketing efforts there. Start at the bottom. 